I'm Gene Siskel with the Chicago Tribune. Armageddon is appropriately named because while you're seeing it, you will feel as though you've been in combat, visual combat and oral combat. This could have been the movie that was shown to Malcolm McDowell in A Clockwork Orange to make him sick. Life is short. I love you. Love is forever. Will you marry me? The biggest box office movie in 1998 saw star Bruce Willis and Ben Affleck fight their way to an asteroid to knock it off course before it can crash into Earth. With a $140 million budget, the film would easily make its money back as it would end up with a total of $553 million. A few months before the summer release date, another Earth is Doomed by an asteroid film was released called Deep Impact. That film will have an $80 million budget and would gross $350 million. Touchstone Pictures was a little worried that a film with a similar theme opened up a month before it would. So the producers expanded the budget by $3 million to include an additional effects scene showing the asteroid hit Paris. The footage would be used in television commercials around the time Deep Impact was released. To show that Armageddon was a more action-packed film than Deep Impact. Strangely entertaining and amusing experience. If you can stop blinking and of course take your fingers out of your ears. So a weird, truly weird thumbs up from me. Even before the film, producers went all out with the best script they could get by having at least nine writers to come in to write or polish up the early draft. Some of the writers to help out was Tony Gilroy, Scott Rosenberg, J.J. Abrams, and more. They also looked to get some of the biggest names attached to the film. Bruce Willis was hired as the lead star, who was on the top of his box office game. However, Bruce would take a massive pay cut with this film, as it was part of his three-picture deal with the company that he made to offset an unreleased film, Broadway Brawler, that Bruce Willis had produced, but it never got finished. Also casting the film was Ben Affleck, who was one of the hottest new faces at the time, and had just came off winning an Oscar for Good Will Hunting. Also in the cast would be Billy Bob Thornton, Liv Tyler, Steve Buscini, Owen Wilson. The film would be narrated by the legend Charlton Heston and more names would make up the cast. The producers will also pay $2.6 million for the ads to run during the Super Bowl of 1998. It was clear Touchstone was putting all the hat in this film and it did pay off. Even when it was released on VHS, it surpassed Purdy Woman as Bonavista's best-selling live-action film. It seemed clear that the fans were loving it, but it was panned by a lot of critics with some even calling it the worst film of the year. Well, we saw the same picture, but my thumb is way down. I wanted to escape from this movie. I didn't I care if the asteroid hit, hit the Earth or not. I was afraid the movie was going to hit me. And, you know, yeah, it it's you. cut so quickly Absolutely. that there's no uh, a stretch of action that makes any sense or is comprehensible in any way. This movie, the entire movie, is cut together like a coming attractions trailer. Yes, no question. And it was bewildering. Or, or, or the TV it, ad for the film. It was aggressive, and it was assaulting, and it was too noisy. And I like The Rock. I gave The Rock thumbs oh, you up. Did? Okay. But this film, to me, doesn't have any kind of an arc or any kind of dramatic interest. And when it stops for drama, like when they're all saying goodbye to oh, each yeah, other, yeah. before you know, like seconds are ticking down. If they don't get that bomb ready in another... 20 seconds, the earth ends, and they're saying goodbye to each other on television. Me, I couldn't understand that. To help promote the film, Touchstone reached out to Mattel Toys for a toy line. Mattel would release the toys under their Hot Wheels logo, making it one of the few times an action figure line bar the name Hot Wheels. Only two figures would release in the line, both 8-inch figures based on the characters of Bruce Willis and Ben Affleck. Going more with a Hot Wheels theme, they released action sets. These were many space vehicles. The drilling unit, the Explosion Zone, and the Space Station. A smaller micro set would also be released under the Hot Wheels name. Mission 1, Shuttle Launch. Mission 2, Asteroid Drill Site. And Mission 3, Space Station. Two vehicles would also be released, but they were not in scale with the action figures. The drilling vehicle and a space shuttle. Sadly, the toy line didn't have the success as the film, and it was quickly canceled by Mattel. The plan to release figures in an 8-inch scale without any other accessories seems a little odd. With the movie's success and being hit with young boys, a full action figure line with vehicles and playsets would have made a lot more sense and probably would have been a lot more successful. At least more successful than releasing two odd looking action figures with vehicles they couldn't even use and two different sized small micro sets. And that's another look at an action figure movie line that failed. Armageddon. I want to thank you for watching. As always, thumb up if you like my content, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk again soon. Directed by Michael Bay. 
<laughs> hey, jump man channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>